one. Hey, I'm Mike Denaro, and this is the Stephen Pass 1550 Fisher. Uh, we got this equipped with the full enclosure, which is really nice. Uh, Yamaha F70 on the back, a real simple dash layout. Uh, it's a very simple boat. You've got nav lights and deck wash. There is a switch for a bait tank, which is optional. We didn't put it on this particular one. And then the bilge pump, automatic on and off. Um, one really cool thing with this boat is the Fisher models, they have this flip up windscreen. And we found when we were launching the boat, one of the really cool things is because the hinge is up here, this is attached to the plastic windshield, you don't even need to disconnect this to activate this, this, uh, this, this lift. Basically, you open this up and it can lift all the way, still attached to the plastics. So the zipper just pulls up a little bit on both sides. That's really slick. Um, if I want to get out the hatch on my boat, I have to roll up my center window. So it's really nice, just one last step. Gas shocks really help out with the lift because it's quite heavy. Um, what else can we talk about on this boat? So the layout on this thing is really simple. It's just a 15 footer. Um, but it's still a ton of usable space, even with the canvas in. This is an easy two person salmon fishing boat. All you want, or any kind of big lake, small lake even. Um, got a nice fish table here that is actually interchangeable. There's a quick release button on the back. And you can drop a ski pile on in when you want to switch from fishing to cruising and water sports. Like I said, F70 on the back, a big step ladder, uh, standard on all these things. And the you know, arrow pontoons and chambered hull, which means 15 foot boat. Guess what? I can stand on the gunnel. I can try to tip it. I weigh really close to 200 pounds. My scale will say 200, but I don't want to admit it. And I have zero danger of flipping this boat over, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We've got the built-in fuel tank, it's optional. You can do it with just day tanks. Um, but here we're on the coast, we want a bit more range. Single battery, but it does have a dual battery switch, so it's easy to add a second battery if you want. We've got the wash down on it. Simple uh, through hole pickup, all welded in with a big ball valve. And then what else is there to say? This is a very, very simple and yet functional boat. Crazy part, Stabycraft, I don't know how many rods you guys run in New Zealand. Here, you know, most fishermen are running two, four rods. Chris behind the camera runs about six or seven. But this is a 15 foot boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rod holders on a 15 foot boat. That's without me adding a single Scotty rod holder. That's just standard. 14 rod holders, it's a 15 foot boat. What are you doing? That's awesome, I love that. This whole arch will fold down, it's hinged back here. So you take one pin out, the whole thing will hinge back uh, so you can get in your garage real easily. All of these plastics come off real easy. Quick pins and Velcro, uh, really, really simple. Just stow it up, show it, throw it up front. You know, simple seating. Again, a little flip seat on the one, a cooler on the other, and the two seats, the, the captain's chair and the passenger chair, are on a cantilever system, so the floor is wide open, which makes cleaning the boat super, super easy. There's no, there's no bulkhead. There's no, there's no anything for her to, to to catch any debris. You can just easily hose the floor down. And one nice little thing: look under this driver's seat. They've actually got racks for plain old boxes under here, which is a really nice touch. And that's all welded in. That's really, really cool. Um, just like everything that we've water tested from Stavy, uh, this little boat kind of blew us away. Um, it's basically taking everything we can throw at it. Uh, it's not a rocket ship. We're getting about 32 mile an hour out of it going, uh, going up the river against the current. Uh, F70 Yamaha on the back. I think it's maxed out at 75. Um, in Yamaha, the 75 is the 90 power head, making it much heavier. So power to weight, uh, the 70 is a, a way better choice. But, uh, but yeah, the, the, the stability of the boat, the control, the functionality is really, really nice. It's a deep V, so it's going to take some pretty good shot. Um, what else can I say? It's just like everything else we're driving from these guys. It's just blowing us away. Nice work, Stevie Craft. Thanks for following. Uh, hit that subscribe button here. Maybe here. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. There's a subscribe button somewhere in here. Hit it. I'm Mike DeMaro. Thanks for watching. Cheers.